A California mother is suing her child's school district after an elementary school allegedly helped her fifth grader change their identity and never got her permission to do it. It's all happening as House Republicans recently passed a bill that would give parents more power when it comes to education. News Nation's Nancy Lewis is live. So, Nancy, help us understand exactly what happened here. Well, Nicole, the impact could be huge here. California Congressman Doug LaMalfa is proposing legislation to strengthen parental rights. It stems from a lawsuit out of the Northern California city of Chico, where a mom claims the school district tried to secretly transition her daughter into a boy. The parents should be in the conversation. They should be aware of what's going on. There can be no secrets from parents in our schools. It's an issue that has parents in the Chico Unified School District blasting the local board. Many sounded off at a recent meeting. The parents' fundamental right is directing the care, custody, and control of their children. Yet it is my opinion that through the so-called parental secrecy policy, the district and the state are attempting to disrupt, limit, and even terminate those rights. The uproar stems from a lawsuit filed by a mom who claims a school counselor pressured her fifth grade daughter to transition without parental consent. The incident quickly made its way to Congressman Doug LaMalfa. As soon as a child maybe lets on that they might have a couple different ideas about their gender, that the counselor immediately says, well, let's give you a name and we'll hustle you in front of the uh, other kids in the classroom and announce your new name and your new gender. The mom behind the lawsuit joined Congressman LaMalfa in proposing legislation to counter state guidelines and ban secrecy policies. The school district has publicly denied having a parental secrecy policy and in a letter to parents, the superintendent claimed Chico Unified believes we have not violated the law. Secrecy policies are no secret in some large districts such as Chicago, where educators are not required to inform parents. But in Indiana, a proposed bill to require districts to notify parents within five business days. Opponents claim it will out students who aren't ready. That's the, the real implication that this bill has. Um, on students in our state. And again, I just don't think it rises to the level of importance. We have so much more we could be talking about and discussing. In Arkansas, multiple pieces of proposed legislation targeting transgender issues, including a bill that would not require teachers to use a student's preferred pronoun. I'm not going to put a teacher in some sort of moral compromise position where they have to call a young girl a boy or a boy a girl in their classroom. It is really odd to try to argue, oh, freedom of speech, when you're already trying to get rid of my identity. You're trying to erase me from my freedom of speech, which is me using they them pronouns. Privacy is also an argument in Chico. For the privacy of the kids immediately being outed um, before there's a, another chance for the kid to have uh, input from their parents or, or what have you. Now, in the Chico case, the child at the center of the lawsuit no longer attends that school, and the mother continues to refer to her as a girl. The Chico board meets again on April 5th. Nicole. All oh, right, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.